This video is going to show you how to create a calculated field. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the clients table and I'm just going to add in here amount. I'm going to choose currency. I'm just going to close that down. Save the changes. In actual fact, before I do that, I'm just going to move that above the notes field. Let's close that down. And let's go to the clients form. And I'm just going to put the field in here. So just click on there. Actually, I'm just going to make a bit more space first. Drag that down slightly. You add there's a field list here. Drag a mount across. And we have another video which shows you how to apply the formatting, so I'm just going to do this very, very quickly just to tidy it up. save those changes. Okay, so now if we go to here, we're just going to add in an amount. I'm just going to put in there say 100. So let's go back to that record. So we've got £100 in there. So, design view. Now we're going to add our a calculated field. <coughs> so click on field list. I'm going to bring up the property sheet because we'll be needing that. And we go to text box. So click on there, move down to here, and click again. I'm just going to uh, just do the formatting first of all. So a line to the left. Same here. Okay, now this field here says unbound, which means it's not connected to any field in a table or query. What I'm going to do is I want this field to represent the shipping charge, and the shipping charge is going to be a percentage of this field here. So if I click on there and go to all there. Now the control source, normally if you click in there, click the down arrow, you can see it wants a field. In other words, a field in the table. But in this instance, we're not going to choose any of those. We're going to actually do a formula. So we're going to do equals and then if I just type that put the square brackets around the field name. In this case, it's this field here, and multiplied by 0 0.2, which is going to represent 20% of the amount. And that's going to be the shipping charge. The, the shipping charge. Hit enter. I'm just going to click on there once, double click, and just type in shipping and hit enter. I'm going to save the changes, go to view, and you can see 
it's automatically put in the shipping charge there. So if I edit that to 150 and tab, you can say, see it's updated instantly. I'm just going to edit the formatting of this, reduce this field size and change that to a currency field. So I'm going to go to design view, highlight those two, and then just drag these down a little bit. Click on there and go to format. And I'm going to choose currency. Save those changes. Click view. And if I tab down, and I can see the the tab order needs doing as well. So let me just edit that first. Go to design view. Right mouse click, tab order. And we can see this says text 20 here, which I know is the the shipping field, and we see amount down there because we added this field in a bit later on. But really, I want to have the tab control or the the, um, the tab control down here. I want to have that as the last thing, and also I don't want to have a calculated field in the tab order because you can't edit it anyway it gets automatically calculated so a few things to do here click cancel first thing is actually if I just go to tab order first and I'm going to click and then move the tab control to the bottom Next thing I want to do is click on shipping, go to other, tab stop, we're going to change that to no. Next I want to go to all, scroll to the top, and instead of that being called text 20, I'm just going to put txt shipping and hit enter. Now if I go to the tab order you can see that makes a lot more sense. So you know what control it refers to rather than something generic like text 20. Click OK. Save go to view. Let's tap across now. Let's check that again. You can see it's skipped that field which we can't edit anyway. If, if you see I, I click in there and I try and type something in nothing happens. But as you can see if I type in something in the map field it updates. And that is how you create a calculated field.